Picture this, a dimly lit cinema in 1974, the flicker of the projector casting a soft glow on the eager faces of moviegoers. The air is thick with anticipation as the reel begins to spin, and the screen comes to life with the timeless tale of the front page. It's a moment etched in the collective memory of those who were fortunate enough to witness the magic unfold on the big screen. As the opening scenes unfolded, the audience found themselves transported to the gritty world of newspaper reporting in Chicago, a world where the ink-stained fingers of journalists danced across typewriters, churning out headlines that would make or break careers. The front page wasn't just a movie, it was an experience, a journey into the heart of journalism, where the line between news and entertainment blurred in a captivating dance. Do you remember your first encounter with this cinematic gem? Perhaps it was the sharp wit of the characters or the rapid-fire dialogue that left you hanging on every word. Maybe it was the palpable tension of the newsroom or the way the film captured the essence of an era long gone. Whatever it was, the front page had a way of leaving an indelible mark on those who immersed themselves in its narrative. Now, let's peel back the layers and delve into some intriguing facts about this cinematic masterpiece. Uncover the stories behind the scenes, the trivia that adds a new dimension to your appreciation of this classic. From the casting decisions that almost went a different way to the serendipitous moments that became iconic scenes, get ready to see the front page in a whole new light. So, grab your virtual press pass and join me as we journey into the fascinating world of the front page. It's time to uncover the hidden gems that make this film a timeless classic. And remember, the scoop is just a headline away. Real Rivalries, Lemon, Matthau, and Wilder's surprising encore in 1974, the film industry witnessed a clash of titans during the making of the front page. Austin Pendleton spilled the behind-the-scenes tea, revealing that Jack Lemon, Walter Matthau, and Billy Wilder weren't exactly best buds on set. In fact, Pendleton boldly claimed they'd never work together again. However, life had other plans. Seven years later, the trio reunited for Buddy Buddy in 1981, proving that Hollywood's feuds sometimes fade faster than yesterday's headlines. The front page, directed by Wilder, etched its name in history as the first version to shout out Chicago by name, showcasing genuine Windy City newspapers. For Wilder, Chicago was the heartbeat of American journalism, a pulsating news hub that fueled the film's energy. This nod to reality added grit to the story, aligning Wilder's lens with the raw vitality of the city's newsrooms. An early scene in the movie sees Lemon and Matthau at verbal loggerheads in Burns' office. What caught the ears was Lemon's mention of covering the monkey trial while out of town. Fast forward to 1999, Lemon took on the role of Henry Drummond in Inherit the Wind. This film delves into the 1925 trial of John Scopes, dubbed the Monkey Trial, where a Tennessee teacher faced charges for teaching evolution, sparking a national debate. Lemon's connection to this trial, echoed in the front page, adds a layer of cinematic serendipity. So, despite backstage tensions, a genuine love for Chicago, and a subtle nod to history, the front page became a pivotal moment in the careers of Lemon, Matthau, and Wilder. A movie not only etched their names together in film history, but also foreshadowed a surprising reunion, proving that in the world of cinema, even the most dramatic headlines can't predict the sequel. The opening scene of the 1974 movie The Front Page showcased the newspaper printing process, filmed at the Los Angeles Herald Examiner's print room. This room housed one of the last operational old-style printing presses. It provided a glimpse into the bygone era of newspaper production. The film also made a reference to William Randolph Hearst, who once owned the Chicago Examiner, the Chicago American, and the Chicago Herald. By the 1920s, he merged two of these papers into the Chicago Herald Examiner, a move significant in the history of American journalism. A lesser known fact is that Alan Jenkins, who played the role of a telegrapher at the movie's conclusion, was part of the 1928 Broadway production of The Front Page, portraying the character of Post Reporter in Dicott. This connection adds a layer of historical depth to the film's cast. The Front Page is a movie with intriguing ties to the world of journalism and its past. It takes us back to a time when newspapers were printed in a very different manner and when media ownership held significant influence. The inclusion of Alan Jenkins, a link to the original Broadway production, brings an interesting twist to the movie's history. 
in the 1974 movie The Front Page, directed by Billy Wilder, one interesting fact stands out. Wilder chose to edit in the camera, which meant minimal footage was shot during the production. This unique approach allowed editor Ralph E. Winters to complete a rough cut of the film in just four days. This efficient editing process was a departure from the typical method in filmmaking and contributed to the film's rapid production. Unfortunately, there isn't substantial information available about Alan Jenkins' final film or the incident involving Susan Sarandon staying at the Shadow Marmont Hotel during the shoot. Therefore, we'll focus on this noteworthy aspect of the film's production. Billy Wilder's decision to edit in the camera in the front page showcases his commitment to efficient and innovative filmmaking techniques. This approach not only saved time but also contributed to the overall success of the film. Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthaus' memorable collaboration in the front page in the 1974 film Adaptation of the Front Page. Starring Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau, the chemistry between these two actors shone through, marking it as the third of their nine collaborations. Their on-screen partnership brought a unique charm to the movie, which added to its appeal. While the film featured a handful of characters from the original play, such as Duffy, Officer Jacoby, and Dr. Egelhofer, some characters like Pegg's disapproving mother, court guard Wooden Shoes Icorn, and former criminal Diamond Louie were omitted. Plunkett's name in the play was Irving Pincus, and the character Rudy Kepler didn't exist in the original play, demonstrating some adaptations made for the film. Unfortunately, not all aspects of the film received acclaim. Carol Burnett, who played the role of Molly Malloy, expressed dissatisfaction with her performance in the movie. This sentiment was shared by many critics as well. Burnett once recounted an anecdote where she watched the film on a flight and was so unpleased with her work that she stood up after it ended and apologized to the passengers. In this adaptation of the front page, Lemon and Matt Faust's brilliant pairing, along with some alterations from the original play, brought the story to life on the big screen. Despite some mixed reviews, the film remains a significant part of their cinematic legacy. As we bring the curtain down on our journey through the cinematic masterpiece of 1974, The Front Page, I invite you to reflect on the unique and indelible mark it may have left on your own personal reel of memories. This classic film, directed by the brilliant Billy Wilder, has woven its narrative threads into the fabric of our cultural history. Did you find yourself captivated by the razor-sharp wit of Walter Matthau's character, Hildy Johnson, or perhaps felt an affinity for Jack Lemmon's relentless pursuit of the big scoop as Walter Burns? Maybe it was the snappy, rapid-fire dialogue that still resonates with you, a testament to the enduring artistry of Ben Hecht and Charles MacArthur's original play. Whether it's the film's enduring humor, its depiction of the fast-paced world of newspaper reporting, or the timeless charm of its cast, the front page is a classic that has left a lasting impact on countless film enthusiasts. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts, your memories, and your personal connection with this iconic movie. What scenes or lines have stayed with you? What emotions did it stir in you? We'd love to hear your favorite moments and musings. Thank you for taking this journey with us, for sharing your cinematic passion, and for joining us in celebrating the front page. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. We look forward to reading your reflections and stories. With warm regards, 